Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another screencast by your earth science teacher, Mr. Stano. And today we're going to move on to glaciers as an agent of erosion um, on our planet and actually really special and dear to Long Island for we've pretty much formed out of the activity of glaciers. Uh, this one is going to be a big deal in class, so just get ready for that. But here's your overview of it. Glaciers are nothing more than the accumulation of snow over a period of time that is basically... Um, press down on itself and form this ice. And it's actually very similar to what we see now at this time of year, uh, where we've had this accumulation of snow and that that layer of snow that's left, you can tell that it's not that fluffy snow anymore. It's actually this very compact and ice in some case um, snow. So glacial erosion basically, or glaciers are gonna form when we have more snow accumulating than what melts in the winter. Now what happens is as more accumulates than what melts, you always have more snow piling up. And eventually that stuff at the bottom is gonna pack together. And it's gonna go through a number of different stages while it packs together, but ultimately the end product will be ice. As it gets thick enough and we get more accumulation, more piling on top, piling on top year after year after year, or month after month, that weight of that ice will cause it to start to move under gravity. Gravity will start pulling it. And when that glacier starts to move and pulling it and moving it, that's known as advancing. When, it clim when the climate warms up or there's a, a warming season, now all of a sudden we won't have the accumulation. And what's going to happen is that advancing front is not going to advance anymore and will actually begin to retreat when we have a warming period. Here's a continental glacier. This is a glacier that formed over a landmass. And... Uh, appears to be Greenland, moving out. So snow accumulates here and it's gonna move out in all, di in all directions. Here's an advancing glacier right here. So it's come from this region right here and it's moving down through this valley. So this is glacial advance and retreat. So we can see in this diagram that this glacier started up here, it's moved into this valley region during a colder climate or period. And on this bottom one, you can see that no more glacier there. It's retreated back up into the actual mountainside. This is the uh, last ice age that occurred about 12,000 years ago. Uh, and this is the one that formed Long Island or part of Long Island, I should say, or one of the parts. And you can see here's Long Island right here. This is the last glacial advance that moved through. So say thank you, last glacial advance. Thank you for our home, Long Island. Just as looking through again, you can see this continental glacier moving out in all different directions. And oh, what's this? Moving out into Long Island right here or forming Long Island as it moved material in. So this moving ice of the glaciers, um, there's a number of different features that we're going to see. Small sediments that are carried by glacial uh, glaciers are going to get smooth and polished just like we see from rivers. But what happens here is they're basically going to be uh, very fine materials from that glacier that are going to kind of like sand it out or smooth it out. Larger sediments are going to get scratched and striated. Striations are like the little grooves that we're going to see. These are our striations. And if you notice, it looks like this rock was dragged along the ground because uh, that's what happened. These glaciers are so big, they can take the rocks and scrape them along the ground. Uh, much like if you were to like slide into a base and get like a scratch on your leg, same thing, no different. Or like road rash. Um, it's the same thing if you fall off your bike and you'll get these striations or these parallel grooves. Okay, looking at them again. We can see more striations moving through. And what's great about striations is from this, we can tell the direction of glacier movement. So we know where that glacier was advancing from. This one right here, same thing. We have striations moving through, but we also have polishing. 
because of these smooth surfaces we can see here. So there's been very fine sediments that came in that polished out, but then larger sediments mixed in that causes striations. And that's key, small sediments and large sediments in the same region. Because when we have a mixture of different sediments, we call that unsorted. There's no rhyme or reason to sediment size. Everything is just all over. Large is mixed with big, big mixed with small. Um, so that's considered unsorted. Glacial till is nothing more than unsorted sediments. And we see this here on Long Island. We can see larger mixed with smaller sediments. Here's a person standing next to unsorted sediments here. Then we have what's called glacial erratics. Glacial erratics are these unusually large boulders that have been transported by glaciers without being broken into pieces. And there's several evidence pieces of uh, glacial erratics here on Long Island. One is in Glacier Ridge, which is a uh, mountain bike trail over in Farmingville. And in by Stony Brook University, we also see another glacial erratic. And there's a uh, plenty more around Long Island. Glaciers also create U-shaped valleys. So this valley in here, U-shaped uh, due to glaciers versus rivers, which are V. Here, another U-shaped valley formed by glaciers. Okay, once again, U-shaped valley. Remember, glaciers, they're massive, mi mile or two thick worth of ice. So when they pull and move through a valley, they grab and, and pull everything with it, forming these massive U-shaped valleys. Okay. The fastest is at the center of a valley, very similar to what we see with rivers, how they're faster near the, near the center. It's the same thing with glaciers. These are just some different glacial features formed by either the convergence of glaciers or basically from where they form. But once again, we could see this U-shaped valley and another U-shaped valley right here. Here's a little summary of glacial erosion. Uh, you can, I'll leave this up for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this screencast on glaciers. We'll go more into this in class. Take care.